Fry with Healthy Basement Concepts. I'm here on a house on the Ohio River, and um, the house unfortunately is uh, pushing down the hill. It's an older home, uh, over 100 years old, <clears throat> but some of the things uh, that they uh, told me about is they had some moisture. It's a bank-owned home. They had some moisture. Well, when I come down here, uh, there's clearly evidence of water seepage, um, which you can see around around the basement here uh, a lot of this is just dirt but the big thing for this foundation is this wall bowing in and there's basically four or five stages to a wall that bows in first you get a crack a uh, hairline crack it's usually typically starts in the middle of the wall uh, stage two the crack progresses down the wall and you start to get uh, stair step cracking, something like like this a little bit, not exactly, but we're just the crack steps up the wall. The third is is that the wall starts to actually lean in, coming towards us into the basement. Um, and stage four, which is the one of the worst stages, is exactly what's going on here. And there's actually a ledge here. This is the foundation block. This is where the wall is supposed to be, and the second block above it has pushed off that bottom block. And when that happens, that's, that's a major problem when that happens. And if you let it get bad enough, uh, you have no choice but to rebuild the foundation. And you can see all this water coming in here. But this, this wall is sheared really bad. You can just see here uh, you know how much my fingers are underneath there. It's it sheared over an inch. I could still save this wall by supporting it, but if this got a, a whole lot worse, it would have to be rebuilt or excavated out. The problem with this wall and doing that is this is a uh, all crawl space behind here. You literally would have to go inside the crawl space, Jack, dig out all the dirt by hand and. Um, support the house and take down this whole center wall. You could excavate it and push it back to its original position. Either way, a, an excavation with a push or a rebuild would be tremendous for this house. Extreme difficulty. Uh, the expense would be a lot. Um, whereas putting steel beams on this wall, it's really the only option. Uh, you could do wall anchors, but in this situation, I'd recommend doing the steel beams on here and stop this wall from bowing in. I still will provide a, um, a lifetime warranty uh, on this wall that it won't move. Uh, I'm going to beef it up. I'm going to put the beams closer together um, than standard uh, just because of that shearing. When you get to that stage four right there, uh, that, that's a whole nother level. Um, and, and it's not a good, good thing. So please uh, avoid that problem. If you start seeing any cracking down low like that, any kind of shearing, just even 1 16th of an inch, you need to call us and we need to come out and support that wall and we can save it uh, before it gets so bad where it needs, it needs major money. I and mean, I'm talking five, six times the cost um, of just supporting it. So uh, that's, uh, that's it for this foundation.